Hi everyone, Anton here. This is just a quick tip to sort of illustrate the uh, thought process behind my comments on the signal noise stream yesterday. Um, when I was talking about selecting points, copying them and then pasting them, I know it didn't make a lot of sense. So here we have the, the 19 plus its uh, other 19. And what I've done is I've created new points on the outer edges. Uh, mainly so that we can, well, why don't I just demonstrate here. I'm going to go into this view, the outline view, and I'm going to select just the points I want, which I think is close to what I said, um, with the exception of the outermost points, because what I'm going to actually be doing is grabbing this whole path. So I'm going to include the points on this one as well. I'm going to copy them, deselect, we're going to go back into our object selection tool and I am going to hide those real quick. So then let's go back into my other view. I'm going to paste in front. These are the paths that I just copied. So what I'll do is go back to my white arrow, the uh, uh, path selection arrow, select the endpoints, join them, select these two endpoints, join them. And now I shall unhide the objects and here's what we end up with that thing even though it's on top I'm literally pointing at the screen I don't have my webcam hooked up right now uh, but that's what's gonna happen so we can actually send that backwards and you know eventually you can do something like that all the way around um, I've also done up here could select these guys guys and these guys where you at where you at here we go to uh, let's, oh that points okay um, I'm gonna copy and I'm just gonna leave these here for now paste in front you see it looks kind of odd and it, I tell you what, it really does help hiding those guys, the main objects. Uh, join, join. Um, let's see here. Maybe select a different color. Okay. Bring them back. And do some more selection stuff. There we go. You know, you could, you can still use the path select to do the same thing here, or you can do the same thing where you can basically copy these paths, paste in front, select the ends, join them, and join them. And now we can turn it, you know, yet another color. So that's just one way of working your way around it to make it look as if the object has sides without having to do some, you know, sneaky clicking and masking or whatever. That way, you know, it just kind of looks a little cleaner in my book. Um, you could choose to do that. You don't have to do it. No requirements. I guess the point here was just to kind of illustrate what was what I was thinking when I was uh, trying to talk this out in the chat. And then I realized, of course, after saying it in the chat, Oh my God, without demonstrating it, there's no way I'm going to be able to explain this <laughs> because it just sounds like an idiot blunt rambling in the, in the Twitch chat. And so, you know, we all do our thing, right? Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, thanks for checking out this little tip. Uh, see you on the flip side guys.